Hello and welcome to yet again another vlogmas. I don't know what day this is gonna be. I'm losing my mind at this point. But if there's anything that I do this month, I think I said this in the last vlog, is make it through vlogmas. That will be the one thing that I will do this month. And then I'm just gonna be straight with you guys. I'll probably take like two weeks off of filming and uploading content just because we've done a two not two full weeks we've done a full 25 days of vlogmas by the time that this is all done and i have yet to miss a day and i'm so proud of myself for sticking with it this will be the first year ever on youtube that i've stuck with it honestly don't know if i'll do it again next year uh unless maybe i have some help but who knows that's a year away at this point and we still have a few more days of vlogmas left Vo uh, losing my mind losing my words the vlogmas left to get through so hello and welcome to this vlogmas if you're new please make sure to subscribe leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below it helps my channel out so much i am out of breath because i just carried up all of my trader joe's grocery bags and uh my adidas package i ordered some new running shoes which i have not done in so long and i was way overdue for them and i saw that they were having a sale so I was like, all right, might as well get them on sale because otherwise I didn't really want to pay full price. <laughs> I hate buying new running shoes at full price. I love getting a sale on things. So I'll show you guys what I got and I will show you guys what I also restocked on from Trader Joe's because like I said, I am making my way through my refrigerator and freezer and not really buying a ton of stuff. I just bought some like drinks and extras that I wanted to have on hand. So I'll show you guys what I got. I think I already put it away actually. So for the freezer, I picked up three bags of this pasta because it is amazing, so easy to cook and it lasts me about two days. And then we ran out of <laughs> the old cone so I had to pick up two of those. I wanted more of the frozen sweet potatoes but they didn't have any at the Trader Joe's that I went to so I am gonna have to get that in the next few weeks when I restock, which probably won't be till like the new year maybe. And then in the refrigerator, I hope you guys can tell that it's like, we're working our way through it. Like, you know, I mean, the doors kind of stay the same because that's like drinks and stuff. Um, but I did restock on my kombucha because I only had one left. So we got more kombucha on here. I picked up a few more for La Colombe and I didn't restock on any of that. I got steak that I'm gonna make for dinner tonight because I didn't have any meat defrosted and it wouldn't defrost in like the time that I took it out this morning and dinner tonight. And I didn't want to order out, so I'm just gonna make that and probably some potatoes later. We're gonna work our way through those. I'm going to my mom's on Christmas Eve and we're doing like a Christmas morning. The next morning we're gonna do like brunch at her house. So I'm bringing the cinnamon rolls. So I got those for her house. And then I don't think I restocked on anything else. You guys already saw the other stuff, but we are making our way through it. I feel like my fridge always just looks full because I have so many drinks always and sauces and such, but we are doing well. So that's literally all that I restocked on at Trader Joe's. Plus, I got more of that black tea that I love. He's so wiped. He was just hanging out in the car with me for the last few hours because we met my mom at Starbucks and she wanted to see Bentley and then I ran into Trader Joe's while she was there. So we got some stuff done and now he is, he's pooped. <laughs> My dad also gave me more of this like stuff that you put under rugs to keep my, um, the rug in my living room nice and still. I need to find my tripod for this. But I did pick up, oh, bugs. careful. I did pick up three of these. You guys already know these are my favorites. So I stocked up on those and then I got two bottles of wine, which I'm not gonna show because they are for my parents and I don't want them to see before Christmas. All right, so I ordered two different shoes. Um, so the first ones are more of the cloud foam ones that I love. You can actually get them way cheaper at Nordstrom Rack, which I recommend, but I have been eyeing the all white ones literally for like the last year and a half and they don't sell these ones at Nordstrom Rack. They have like the black ones that I have and then like the white gray versions that I always wear. But these are the best. 
most comfortable running shoes and just like athletic shoe to wear and I love that you can wear them with like leggings or like I've even worn them with jeans and I know running shoes and jeans aren't like the best thing but they're like stylish enough to where they don't look like running shoes and jeans you know so I love these I picked them up in the all white they're very true to size I wear a seven and a half and I got a seven and a half in the cloud foam ones I think these were the ones that were on sale and then I've never ordered these before I thought these were gonna be more of like a beige online these look more pink in person but you know what these could be very fun because I have so many neutral colored athletic or athleisure wear anyway so these will actually be kind of fun but I, I did think that they were gonna be more beige I don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me, but these are definitely more of like a taupey pink than a true beige color. But these are the NMDs, the, I don't know the exact style. Um, but I've never gotten these before and I wanted to try them out. So let's see how they fit because I'm curious. Mm. Yeah, nope, these are gonna have to go back. There's so much room in here, you guys. Holy crap. Uh, why did no one tell me that you have to size down in <laughs> these? Yeah, these are going back. You need to size down like a full, a full size in these, it seems like. These are way too big. All right, these are going back. They're very cute, but I guess I'm going to be getting my money back and ordering a smaller size. Maybe I'll just wait until I can go in store and try some on because I don't know if I need a half size smaller or a full size smaller because they're pretty dang big. So they're very cute, but I will be returning those unfortunately. Um, and they weren't on sale anyway, so I'll just enjoy the other ones that I got. So that is all that I picked up from Adidas. I just want to chill so badly today. I need to film a room tour really quick before I completely lose all of my lighting in there. I was gonna do like a full like professional style video and I've, want, I've been wanting to get it out during Vlogmas and I don't have anyone to help me film it. And I just wanna like quickly do like a fun, very laid back like vlog style kind of room tour. So I think that is what we are gonna do for today. And uh, not in today's vlog. I don't know if I'll do this for today's vlog. I don't know, do I include it in today's vlog instead of doing like a whole other video for it. Maybe I will. You know what? That's what we'll do the rest of today's vlog. I'll just share with you guys my room tour. I'll go through everything pretty quickly and decently and that way I can like pick up a new vlog starting later tonight in the evening and have like some stuff, more content and such so that way I can kind of chill the rest of today because I'm very exhausted. I was going to nap before I went out and uh, met my mom and that did not happen with the timing of everything. And now it's 12.30, so let's do the room tour. I'll show you guys my room and everything that is in it. And uh, maybe I'll do like a more professional, like a really laid out room tour once we take all the Christmas decor out and I like change up some other things that I've been wanting to change. But let's just hop into the room tour really quick. All right, guys, welcome to my bedroom. This is a nice little overview. And of course, we have Bentley getting comfortable like he usually does. This is why I keep this giant blanket covering my duvet and everything because um, he usually will just lay there and hang out by himself sometimes. And uh, that way it's easier to like wash that than consistently wash my duvet because a king duvet in this washer in this apartment <laughs> does not usually fit. But I still end up washing it every week and I have two that I swap out. But it just keeps them cleaner since they're white duvets. The blanket is from Target. The puppy is a rescue and I love him so much. <laughs> and then we have my favorite like black silky sheets. Those are from Amazon. I love these things so much. So I have a king pillow and then two queen standard pillows. And then in the back here I have these white Euro pillows from Ikea as well as the covers. And then the bed frame is from Ikea. It is the mom bed frame, however you say that. And I covered it with this concrete contact paper. I almost said wallpaper. Um, and I do have a video on that. If you guys want to see exactly how I did that, I will leave that video linked down below. If I forget, please remind me. And then the duvet that is underneath it are the um, 
The comforter is this one from Society6. And then I just have my weighted blanket, which I usually keep covered with this as well because it just attracts so much dog hair and fuzz and it just keeps it a lot cleaner. So that is, I think, everything on my bed. Above, we have my curtain lights. You guys already know I love them. I have them on a little flip switch so that I can turn them on and off. They serve as my only form of lighting in here at night besides my lamp because most apartments don't have overhead lighting. And then I have my uh, sun tapestry in the middle there. Also, the lights are hung up by mostly command hooks at the top and then some of the command hooks fell. So I just put push pins in some of the places that they weren't holding. And that is how I strung them up. Uh, tapestry is the sun tapestry. I got this from Amazon. I love it. Moving over here to this side, I have this mirror that I got at Home Goods. I threw it behind my dresser and I feel like it opens up this little space so much. Makes a perfect little spot for mirror selfies. And then also my closet happens to be right here so I can see like what I look like in a full length mirror right here. And I love it. On top of my bed frame, we have my little sleep pillow mist. And then I usually keep like tissues and um, I always keep lotion because my skin gets so dry. Like I'll try to remember to put lotion on my hands every single night. Some nights I forget, but that's why I keep it there. It also doesn't fit in my nightstand drawer, but I like the little ledge that's here on this bed frame. My remote is usually here. Sometimes I lose it in my covers, which happens quite frequently. Moving on to the nightstand. This is from Ikea. I love this thing. I'd love to eventually get a matching nightstand on that side, but we'll get into that in a second. So this is the nightstand that I have from Ikea. Very affordable. I love it. In this little cubby down here, I just keep my Tom Ford uh, decorative book. I still need to take the cover off of this so I can use the other piece somewhere else, but I've yet to do that. And then I keep my daily stoic, my five minute journal, and whatever book I'm currently reading. This is the current one. I have yet to start, but eventually I will get there. And yes, this is very dusty. I did not prepare for this room tour as well as I probably should have, but this is Vlogmas for you guys. All right, so on top of the nightstand, I have these round coasters. These are from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I love them. And then I have my Shungite plate. A lot of you guys asked where I got this. I got it from a wholesaler last year when I went and got some stuff for my store. I would love to bring these on to my store so you guys can shop them yourself, but the wholesaler that I work with is currently sold out, so maybe eventually in the new year I can bring you guys these, but that's why I keep my charger on there. It blocks all of the EMF waves, and since I keep my phone next to me every single night, it helps a ton. All right, so then we have this lamp. This is from Amazon. I love this little thing, and inside I have a smart bulb. I don't know where my phone is. Normally you can um, connect it to an app, and then I change it. I usually have it in like the purple color or the red color at night, but I literally don't know where I put my phone. <laughs> Look at this. He's just staring at his ball <laughs> oh he's so tired all right and then on top of the nightstand i have my echo show love this thing i have a candle this is the teak wood and tobacco soy candle and then i have this lavender um sleep spray from house of intuition and then i just have a piece of flat selenite right there this is a really good crystal to have if you want to get rid of like negative energy it blocks that it's also a charging crystal for your other crystals and then it also is a good um, crystal to have for protection all beautiful things all things that i need here in this place with bentley i think that is everything on the nightstand and then i like this little opening that i have down here i will usually keep my two pairs of slippers you guys have already seen these these are both from amazon so those are for like the colder days and then these are the other ones that i usually wear on like warmer days when i still want to wear something in my apartment so i usually just keep them both under there and like out of the way all right so moving into here oopsies that happens every time i need to get one of those like skinny standing fans because this is also like on its last leg like it barely is staying together here uh we need to replace her very soon because i don't know how much longer she's gonna hold up so this is my messy closet at the moment you guys have already seen this a ton in vlogs so i won't go too in depth about it um maybe i'll do like a very official closet tour sometime when i get it way more organized but you guys have already seen this and then on the door here i just have my fussy robe got this baby at costco i love her that is my very quick tour of my closet i'll do a better one eventually and then my fan usually hangs out here 
I keep the baby gate that I use to close off this section at night when Bentley and I go to bed. That way he's not like roaming around the apartment and such. All right, and then we are back to this side. So this little, um, this is a faux fiddle leaf tree and I got this at Ikea. I love it. The plant uh, holder is also from Ikea and then the black plant stand is from Amazon. Then we have my dresser. My dresser is also from Ikea. I got a lot of questions on how I painted it. I did not paint it. This is the standard color that it comes in. Don't mind my dusty dresser, but it is a really pretty like gray washed kind of wood. Not washed, just like a pretty like dark gray wood color, but it's not like true gray. It's like a brown gray and I love it so much. And then on the top here, I keep my selenite tower. This also happens to be a lamp. I love this thing. I have two of them and I got them both off of Amazon. And then I have my little selenite bowl. You guys were asking me to bring these to the store. So hopefully I will be able to do that in the new year. I need to find a wholesaler that has plenty more in stock because he only had like two or three available and I just bought one of them for myself. And then inside I have all of my crystals currently charging. So that just sits there. And then I have my remote for my vacuum, I'm not gonna turn it on because he's gonna go wild right now. Uh, but this is my little vacuum remote. So you guys know I keep it hidden underneath because this has a big opening at the bottom. I keep it hidden underneath here. So it's nice and out of the way and I love it. But then I don't have a vacuum taking up a bunch of space. So I hide that underneath there and then we have my TV on top. I have this candle from Bath & Body Works. This is the flannel candle. I have a little charger, or not charger, a lighter that I'm trying to like use up. And then we have my little Christmas tree. I believe this is from the dollar section at Target. I also have some vetiver and cedarwood room spray. We are almost out of this stuff. It smells so good. Got that at Target. I have some lavender essential oil, and then I have all of my Palo Santo hanging out back there. All right, and moving on to this, this is all stuff that is on my Poshmark currently and also some stuff that I just need to bring in and either donate or just get rid of. So that is on the to-do list for the new year. So it just kind of hangs out there. We have my longboard and then I cover up the other open wall space with this cubby thing from Ikea. You guys saw me design and do all of those shelves in a previous vlog, so I won't go through it all. Um, and then in here, I just have all of my tarot cards, my crystals and stuff. In here, we have more Poshmark stuff. And then in here, I have all of my books that I've either read or I need to read. And then in here, we just have my heated blanket for when it gets just a little bit colder in the winter time. Moving on to this side. Down here, I keep my little air purifier and usually this is what I will put the lavender essential oil in. So I have that here. And then this is my little um, bliss skylight thing. I turn this on every single night. It looks like there is stars and clouds in my room and I love it. And then this side of the room eventually will change. Right now, I kind of just have Bentley's crate stored here in the uh, corner and he's rarely ever in it. He's almost to a point where he doesn't need it at all, but sometimes I'm gone for, like honestly, if I'm gone longer than like one hour, I don't feel comfortable leaving him out quite yet because I don't have my new like dog cam in. But I think that's arriving today. And then honestly, he probably won't need this. My plan is to fold this up, store it underneath the bed and just keep it for like when we travel or like go to my mom's house. And um, eventually I think I might put the egg chair here or I might get a second nightstand and match them. But <laughs> this corner needs to be worked out first before I can do all of that. So for right now, I just keep my suitcase here. Cause when I go to my mom's, it's easier to um, roll a suitcase while I'm also walking him to like my car. It's just easier to manage both of them if I just put all my stuff in like a rolling suitcase. And then I have my guitar back there. She's dusty. I have not opened her in a very long time, but I keep my guitar there. My suitcase, that's just kind of how this corner goes. I mean, no one really sees it. No one's ever coming over anyway. And then I have my little lunar phases. I think I got this at Marshall's last year or no this year when i lived with my mom but i think i want to swap it out for something else eventually because it's kind of like a cheap plastic frame so tbd on that but that is kind of how this corner goes all right one final overview i am like fully running out of card space on this camera at the moment i think i only have like two minutes left so i definitely don't have enough to like vlog for the rest of today because i do have some videos that i need to take off of the sd card and all the footage and edit it together so 
I think that is gonna be it for today's vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini room tour, my little mini Adidas haul. Uh, that is gonna be it for today. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.